All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mushoku Tensai Season 2, Episode 16. In the last episode, a couple of great things happened. Um, firstly, firstly, try to say secondly and first. First, uh, firstly, um, we had the first kind of part of the episode where Shizuka was working on uh, uh, magic circles or spells or basically summoning circles to be able to summon items from her world, her and Rudius as well previous world um at first it didn't go well and she just absolutely broke down it probably nearly killed her to be honest um she, I, once again shout out to her voice actress for that just m sequence it was amazing she really really popped off that must have hurt her throat um but then luckily with the help of rudy and all of her friends um they managed to succeed by realizing that multiple kind of magic circles would like in, in a kind of 3D space is what she needed to do and luckily then she did it. She was able to summon plastic. So um, pollution. Well done. Uh, they brought pollution to this world. <laughs> um, yeah and then on to the kind of, uh, well actually very later part of the episode um, Rudius's two sisters were brought to him so they could stay with him for a while and along with them as uh, acting as their bodyguard came Rujad which was just such a great surprise and I'm really looking forward to seeing if how long he's going to stay for here or just kind of like some moments between him and Rudy here. Um, but yeah, very excited for this episode. So as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. I wonder if he's changed much to, to Rui Jad's eye. He must have gotten taller. I can't remember how tall he was when they were still together. Oh, a couple of years, yeah. He must have definitely grown taller by that. Ginger? Wait, who's Ginger? I forgot. Oh, nice. Yeah. The, she, she got over it though, right? You're a cool guy. Your sister? Which one? Oh, okay. As gods? Damn. <laughs> this is nice. Fuck knows. She gone. But I got a wife now. Or a wife to be. I'd really love to see Edis again. I just don't want to see any trouble come between uh, Rudius and Sylphie because of it. Yeah, just... Uh, honestly, I'd let it go. It's harder said than done, but I'd let it go. Oh, he doesn't even get to spend much time with him. Oh, I wonder what she is doing right now. And how she's grown as well. Uh, Ayo? Who that? Oh. Oh, okay. What? Hello? What's going on? What's your beef? Is he his friend? What's the problem? What was that about? Oh, interesting. Then I assume they fought each other on the war then. Maybe. I feel like King Baddy is much stronger than Rui Jard. He was going to leave without saying anything. Damn, bro. Man, we only got him for such a short amount of time. It's still hard. Yeah. He hit dad? I'm sure dad deserved it. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. And you have Aisha as well. Oh, goodbye, Ruja. You didn't see that coming? 
That's fair enough. But jewels and shit? What the hell? Oh, are they gonna come to your school? Do they have like a preschool thing? Oh. Cute. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, they can take the university of magic and entrance exam at this age. That's crazy. Anyone who can pay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Two polar opposite attitudes. Girls of the same age. Oh, that's a good big brother. <laughs> Oh god. And broaden her horizons. Oh, maybe it's just a different different view in this world. Exactly. She's almost like Mr. Fitz. <laughs> Duh. He didn't have any siblings. Did he have any siblings? I can't remember in the previous world. They, they probably didn't even go into it. Oh, they are married now. Are they already husband and wife? I thought they were still... Had to make it official or something. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, you're smart enough. I guess you can be the maid. She didn't do very good. She just needs a little bit of learning. A little bit of teaching. You want to try living in the dorms? Oh, okay. Oh, but that, that, that means she wants to live away from Rudius. Yeah. I don't know about that. It probably, if he agrees to this, it'll probably help her trust him a little bit more. Hmm. I mean, Aisha's got what she wanted as well. She wanted to become a maid. Oh. Damn. And Norn's grandma? Oof. Rude. Aww. That's not fair. Poor girl. Yeah. Aisha's so sweet. I wonder if she'll have a knack for magic. Like, uh, Rudy. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's like a doting father. Once every ten days. Oh, good older brother. Oh, she bit of a, she bit of a quiet one. She's probably having trouble making friends. Realistically, anybody would have to be insane to mess with Norn, uh, with her being Rudy's brother and Sylphie's, I guess, stepsister? What is snoring right now? Is there something in that bag? What have they put in this bag? Oh god, what now? What? What is it? What's the problem? Why does Sylphie look so shocked? Wait, what? Oh my fucking god, what did they do? Oh my god! Oh no! These beast girls are getting beat to death. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what's in the bag. He didn't know. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. Just say it out like out so like that. No. Yes. 
No misunderstandings, he didn't know. <laughs> I'm sure you have. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, look at her face. We should probably return the contents of the bug. These beast girls, man, Jesus. Is she lost? By association, Norn is going to know a lot of cool people in the school. She's going to have tons of friends. You didn't mean any harm? You, maybe you should think it through? Uh, that's my little sister, don't be mean. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, you better change your attitude. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you lead a pack. Oh, she's struggling. Right, so that was Mishoku Sensei Season 2, Episode 16. Oh, oh my god, those two stealing underwear and shit from girls, especially from the sounds of it, younger girls or just slimmer girls, I guess. Um, yeah, oh, I... I <laughs> <laughs> they should have got a beat down for that, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, leading, leading the pack is very difficult, especially when they both share a brain cell. Um, a cute little episode there with Aisha and Norn. Um, obviously, Norn is just taking slowly, slowly kind of getting used to Rudius and obviously being able to trust him. Um, Aisha's very cute. She's sweet. Uh, obviously, she's just a very good and outgoing kind of girl um but Norn is it's it's obviously very hard for her she is struggling um wanting to live in the dorm presumably just to have some space from rudy but then of course kind of getting to know people is obviously hard for her so hopefully she she continues with that obviously she'd be very safe in the school considering all the friends that rudy has um people should know not to fuck with her um but uh yeah Overall, a good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.